Comrades, we have been on this journey for the past two months and we have spoken and we have discussed together all the important challenges facing us. And the General Secretary who will speak after me will continue that discourse. But I want to speak on one narrow issue because I feel that that is the most important challenge that we have at this juncture of our country's history. And that challenge, comrades, is the right and the fight and the struggle to protect the rights of the Guyanese people to express their support and their choice for their own government. You know, as a people, the story of our country. You know how we struggled to secure the right to vote in the 40s and in the 50s. And you also know how we lost that right when the PNC collated with the AFC and then they formed the government in 1964. And after that, they rigged every election and they stole your right to vote until 1992. We were able to restore democracy and freedom in this land. And during those dark ages, those dark years, our country was destroyed, our social sector destroyed, our economy destroyed. We became a bankrupt nation. Half of our people fled from this land. That is what the lack of freedom brought to this land. That is what the lack of democracy resulted in. And after 2015, over the past five years, what you have been witnessing is a battle by the PPP to fight for your rights again, to fight to protect the Constitution, the fight to protect the rule of law, the fight to protect democracy, and the fight to protect your right to vote. We have had to go to the courts, we have gone to the parliament, we have gone to GCOM, we have gone to the streets, all in our quest and our struggle to protect that right. You saw the machinations of how they tried to rig the elections by violating the constitution when Granger appointed James Patterson the Constitution, you know, is very clear. He must choose one from a list of six names supplied to him by the leader of the opposition. For 25 years, we did that without any query, without any problem. And for the first time they got into government, they broke up the Carter formula and trample upon the Constitution. The leader of the opposition consulted with the whole country and gave them 18 names. We gave them judges, former judges, lawyers, doctors, accountants, former chairperson of GCOM, head of the army, ambassadors. They rejected all. They rejected all, Granger. And then on that dark night, in 2017, Sanjeev Dattadil also is here. They rejected him. And on that dark night in 2017, Diwali night, Ranger swore in James Patterson, a man who was 87 years old. Just a month before, he sent home 
Justice of Appeal, Prem Prasad, who was chairman of the POC, he said to Prem, he said, you are too old, and Prem was 76 years. Then he sent to Kenar, former chancellor, who was the head of the police complaints authority. He said, Cecil, you're too old. Cecil was 78, and he pointed Patterson, who was 87. Comrade, one of the man, I, the Pantabu Farid, and one of the police. And the man lied on his CV. He said he was the Chief Justice of Grenada, and we asked him to produce his instrument of appointment and up to now. He couldn't, but the whole purpose of it was for him to go there and to corrupt the machinery so that they would be able to rig the elections. But we didn't take it like that. We went to the court and we had to go all the way to the Caribbean Court of Justice and the Caribbean Court of Justice chased him out, chased him out, telling Granger that his appointment was unconstitutional. But before he left, he started that wicked house-to-house -house registration exercise where he wanted to remove all your names from the register and he wanted to start illegally a new database. And in so doing, during that registration exercise, he would have excluded tens of thousands of you from the registration process. So when the final voters list comes out, your name would not have been on the list and they would have been able to read the elections. And we said, no way, no way. We went to the court and we got an order to prevent them from removing names. And comrades, after that, we have had one battle after another because they try over and over again to corrupt the database, to use unauthorized data, to put it in the system, to make it difficult for you to find your names on the list and also to remove your names. And look at the battle that we had recently, just over the last few days, to get enough polling places on the east coast of Demerara. Because they know that on March the 2nd, the East Coast alone will remove them from office. And comrades, the agony that they have put you, the people of the East Coast, through over the last four or five days must not go in vain. We have to show them that never again must they take their eyes and pass the people of the east coast of Demerara. So on March the 2nd, we are going to teach them a lesson right here on the east coast. Comrades, even now, even now, although the commission agreed to open more stations at Monrepo and at Fowles. They have not done that. I spoke to the RO today. I spoke to Low MP last night. And up to now, they have not appointed a new polling places. Just now, before I started to speak, I was told that Low MP gone to sleep. Gone to sleep. And he has not appointed in new places. He has not even signed our candidate badges. He has not signed our supernumerary agent badges as yet. I say that to you, comrades, so that you understand the nature of the struggle. You understand the value of your vote so that on Monday, March the 2nd, you do not make this opportunity miss you. We have put hours and hours of struggle and hard work into getting you on that list and to get you an opportunity 
to vote. Will you disappoint us? So comrades, on March the 2nd, you will have your say. But before I close, we have a special event before March the 2nd. March the 2nd is like a religious thing. But we have a little sport, the farewell party for Granger at the Tarmac at Rosistan on Sunday, Saturday. Are you coming to bid them goodbye? It's one more time to raise the flag. One more time to say victory is ours on March the 2nd. See you at Lusitan. Thank you very much.